good morning students today first we will do an exercise based on ones tens and hundreds in this exercise you have to there are three numbers are given you have to encircle the number which shows three hundreds this is first is an example so out of 234 325 241 you have to encircle the number which shows three hundreds that means the number in which there is digit 3 at hundreds place so this is 325 similarly we have to do other numbers also in next you have to encircle the number which shows three tens that means the number which has three at tens place so it is 438 next you have to encircle the number which shows eight ones that means the number which has eight at ones place so this is 708 always remember we start the places from our right hand side ones then uh, tens and then hundreds next is the number which shows two tens that means the number which has two at tens place so the number is 122 next is the number which has one at hundreds place out of the three number 801, 810 and 108, the number 108 has 1 at hundreds place. The next is 7 ones. That means the number which has 7 at ones place. So this is 307. Next is 9 tens. That means the number which has 9 at tens place. So the number is 490. 6 ones. That is the number which has 6 at ones place. So this is the number is 346. Next is 500. That means the number which has 5 at 100 place. So it is the number 553. Next is 3 tens. That means the number which has 3 at tens place. So this is 134. Then 4 ones. That means the number which has 4 at ones place. So it is 404. 8 hundreds. That means the number which has 8 at hundreds place so this is 856 9 tens that means the number which has 9 at tens place so the number is 293 and last is 0 ones that means the number which has 0 at ones place so the number is 450 then last is one more exercise is encircle bells number when you go and buy something, you get a bill, printed bill. So here you have to encircle bills number. It has eight hundreds and six ones. That means out of the numbers given, 286, 826, 682, 268 and 862. You have to encircle the number, encircle the bill number which has eight hundreds and six ones. That means the number which has... 8 at hundreds place and 6 at ones place. So the answer would be 862. Now next is place value and face value. We have done the places ones, tens and hundreds. So each place has got a place value and a face value. Okay. Now first I will tell you what is place value. See in the example, see the example. The expanded form of 457 is 400 plus 5 tens plus 7 ones. We have done expanded form. In expanded form we write the numbers in the form of 100, tens and ones. In addition form of 100, tens and ones. We break the number in addition of 100, tens and ones. So in the number 457 there are 400 five tens and seven ones okay how many ones are there seven how many tens are there five and how many hundreds are there four so four hundreds means four hundred five tens means fifty and seven ones means seven so in this seven is in the ones place so the place value of seven is the seven itself because one is we write one as one 10 as 10, 1, 0 and 100 as 1, 0, 0. So, the digit at place value remains the, at 1's place, sorry, at 1's place remains the same. 
the digit at ones place remains the same. The digit at tens place takes one zero. Since there is one zero in ten, and the digit at hundreds place takes two zero, as there are two zeros in hundred. So in the number four hundred and fifty-seven, seven is in the ones place. So the place value of seven is seven only. Five is in tens place. So the place value of five is fifty. Okay. Since ten, there is one zero in ten, so the place value of five is fifty, and four is in the hundreds place. That means there are four hundreds. So the place value of four is four hundred. Okay. So when we write a number in in expanded form, four hundred plus fifty plus seven, the place value of seven is seven only. The place value of five is fifty, since there are five tens, and the place value of four is. Four hundred since there are four hundreds. Okay, so this is the place value. So place value of a digit tells us if it is in ones, tens, or hundreds place in the number. Place value by seeing the place value, we can see we can tell whether the number is at ones place, tens place, or hundreds place. So if I say seven, that means seven is at ones place. If I say fifty, that means five is at Tens place, and if I say four hundred, that means four is at hundreds place. So place value of a digit tells us if it is in ones, tens, or hundreds place. And face value is the digit itself. Okay, face value is the digit itself. There is no change. So in the number four hundred and fifty-seven, the face value of seven is seven. The face value of five is five. The face value of four is four. So face value means the number as it is. So the difference between place value and face value is place value tells us whether the number is a digit is at ones, tens, or hundreds place in the number, and the face value is the digit itself in a number. Okay. So now the exercise is write the place value of the colored digit. Place value of the colored digit. So in eighty nine, the place value of nine is. Nine, okay. In one hundred thirty-six, the place value of three is thirty. In two hundred and forty, the place value of two is two hundred. In three hundred seven, the color digit is zero, so the place value of zero is zero only. The if zero is at any place, whether it is at ones place, tens place, or hundreds place, its face va place value is zero only. Because zero means nothing. So in three hundred and seven, the place value of zero is zero. In sixty-three, the place value of six is sixty. In eighty-five, the place value of eight eight is eighty. In one twenty-nine, the place value of nine is nine. In seven hundred and forty, the place value of zero is zero. In eight hundred ninety-five, the place value of eight is eight hundred, since eight is a uh, hundreds place. And in nine hundred and fifty-eight, the place value of eight is eight only, since the digit eight is at ones place. Okay, so the difference between place value and face value is place value of a digit tells whether the digit is in ones place, tens place, or hundreds place in the number, and face value is the digit itself. Now write the place value of each digit in tabular form. Tabular form, you can see you can see the number seven hundred thirty-five. So five is at once at ones place the digit is five at tens place the digit is three and at hundreds place the digit is seven. So the place value of five is five only since it is at ones place. The place value of three is thirty. Since it is at tens place, and the place value of seven is seven hundred, since it is at hundreds place. In the digit eight hundred and six, the uh, digit uh, at ones place is six. The digit at hundred tens place is zero, and the digit at hundreds place is eight. So the place value of six is six only. The place value of zero is zero only, and the place value of eight is eight hundred. And in the number four hundred twenty-two. At ones place, the digit is two. At tens place, the digit is again two. 
and at hundreds place the digit is 400 so the place value of 2 is 2 the place value of 2 at tens place is 20 and the place value of 4 is 400 so when we write in expanded form like the number 457 we write it as 457 so each part tells us whether the which what is the place value of each digit okay now we move on to formation of a number formation of a number means how do we form a number now see one the digits from 1 to 9 the digits from 1 to 9 are all one digit numbers the digits from 10 to 99 are all two digit numbers and the digit from 101 to 999 are all three digit numbers the numbers are unlimited there is no net end to a number we go on and on and on okay so 9 is the greatest number a single digit greatest number 99 is the greatest two digit number 999 is the greatest three digit number 9999 is the greatest four digit number and so on so let's let us use digits two and three to form two digit numbers now formation of numbers means how do we use digits to form a number each single digit is called like 1, 2, 3 uh, till 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are all single digit number. That is one digit number. 10 to 9, uh, 99 are all two digit numbers. So when we say a number, number 98 means there are two digits, 9 and 8. We do not say 9 number and 8 number. 9, if we say 9 number, that means it is single digit number. If we say 8, that means it is 8, single digit number. So in a number each uh, 98 there are digits okay so how do we use digits to form numbers suppose uh, the digits given are 2 and 3 so how do we we have to make we, uh, we will make two digit number using 2 and 3 so we can make either 2 3 we can use 2 at 10th place 3 at 1's place so it is 23 we can do vice versa also that means 2 at 1's place and 3 at uh, tens place so we can form two numbers using the digits 2 and 3 23 and 32 this is when we do not repeat the digit and if we repeat the digits then we get four numbers 22 33 that means 2 at 1 tens both the places 3 at 1 and tens both the places 22 uh, 33 and then 23 and 32 so if we are not repeating the digits we are getting two numbers if we are repeating the digits then we are getting four numbers okay now the exercise is form two digit numbers using the following digits so digits are given you have to form numbers without repeating the digits and then repeat the digits so the in first the digits are three and five so if we do not repeat then obviously in five we can form two numbers 35 and 53 by reversing the digits and if we repeat the digits then we will get four numbers 33 55 35 and 53 similarly digits 4 and 8 so if we do not repeat then the number we get is 48 and then we reverse the digits the places of the digits then it becomes 84 and when we repeat the digits then it is 44 88 48 84 next is 2 and 7 so first number is 27 72 and when we repeat then 22 77 27 and 72 now see this use digit 7 and 0 to form two digit numbers with and without repetition that means you have to form two digit numbers using the digit 7 and 0 first you have to make the numbers without repeating the digits and then repeating the digits so when we when we make the form the numbers without repeating the digits then it is seven zero okay first number is seven zero that is zero at one's place and seven at tens place second number if you re uh, reverse the digits then the number if you take seven at one's place and zero at tens place so zero before any number has got no value zero at tens place means zero so the number remains seven only so we can make only one number without repeating the digits if one of the digit 
is 0, then we can make only one number without repeating the digits. So, here it is 7 and 0. So, we can make only 0 at 1's place and 7 at 10's place because if you put 0 at 10's place, that means it is 0 10's means no 10, it is 0 only. So, the digit remains 7, that is a single digit number. So, when uh, if we have to form 2, uh, if we have to use 2 digits and form 2 num uh, uh, without repeating the digits, then we can make only one number if one of the digit is 0. So, here it is 70 and if we repeat the digit, then it is 70 and 77, okay. So, 0 is because 0, 7 is not a two digit number, it is a single digit number only and you can also not write 0, 0 because it is no, that means there is no 1 and no 10, so it is no number. So, if one of the digit is 0, then we can make only one number without repeating the digit and we can make only two number, we can form only two numbers by repeating the digits, okay. Now, using challenge, challenges, you have to do it yourself. Using each of the numbers 3, 5 and 2 only once, write the numbers which, uh, write the number which show 2 at 100's place. That means the digits are using each of the uh, digits 3, 5 and 2, 3, 5 and 2 only once. That means you cannot repeat the digit 3, 5 and 2 only once, write the number which has 2 at 100's place okay so that means uh, 2 at 100's place the first you put 2 at 100's place and then we are left with two more digits that is 3 and 5 so in one number we can take 3 at 10's place and 5 at 100's place so the number becomes 235 and in another number the digit at 100's place remains 2 only in next number we can reverse the rest of the two digits that means we can take 5 at 10's place and 3 at 1's place. So, it is 5 and 3. So, the two numbers are 235 and 253. And if the digits can be repeated, then we can make 235, 233, 253, 255. Okay. Now next is activity sheet 2, activity worksheet 2. In the first one, what you have to do is uh, write the correct number against each. Write the correct number against each. In this how many, uh, how many uh, squares can you see? Each big square contains 100 small squares, okay? So, the, how many big squares can we see? We can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 big squares. 5 big squares means 500 and then that means in each big square, there are 10 small squares. It means uh, 10 rows and 10 columns, 10 rows of 10 small squares, 10 columns of 10 small squares. So, we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 big squares. So, 5 big square means 500 and then we can see 2 columns of 10 square each. That means 20. So, the number is 500 and there is no 1. So, the number is 500 plus 20 plus 0 that is 520. And next, we can see 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 big squares, that means 4 hundreds, that is 4 hundred. Then we can see 1, 10, that means 10 and we can see 2 ones, that is 2. So, 400 plus 10 plus 2, that is 412. So, the number is 412. Now, match the number with its number name. 770, you have to match the number with its number name. The next is complete the expanded form. 415 means 400 plus 10 plus 5, 803. 803 means 800 plus 0, 0 plus 3. So, if the digit at any place is 0, you can write it or you can skip it also. Even if you do not write it, it will not make any difference. So, 803 can be written as 800 plus 0 plus 3 or you can simply write it as 800 plus 3. The next is 539, that is 500 plus 30 plus 9, so it is 539. 
Next is 776, that is 700 plus 70 plus 6. In expanded form, we just break the number. We simply break the number. We write it is we write it as we read it. 776. 700 plus 70 plus 6. 539. 500 plus 30 plus 9. Now fill in the blanks. The place value of 7 in 978 is. Place value, I told you, the value of the place value tells us that the digit, whether the digit is at 1's place, 10's place or 100's place. So, in 978, 7 is at which place? 7 is at 10's place. So, its place value would be 70. Then, digit 2 in 628 is in dash place and the digit 6 is in dash place. That means, you have to write the place of 2 and the place of 6. So, in 628, the digit 2 is in tens place and the digit 6 is in hundreds place. The next is the number formed by using 6 and 4 digits only once are. That means we have to form 2 digit numbers using the digits uh, 6 and 4 without repeating. So first number would be 6, 4, 64 and next number would be we will repeat revise, uh, reverse the digits that is 46. In first number the digit 4 it has 1's place and the digit 6 is at 10's place so it is 64. And another number would be the digit 4 at 10's place and digit 6 in 1's place so it is 46. Next is using each of the digits 7, 5 and 4 only once write the number that shows 5 at 100's place. So using the digits 7, 5 and 4 you have to form a number without re without repeating the digits okay you are not supposed to repeat the digits so using each of the digits 754 only once only once means without repeating write the number that shows 5 at 100's place so out of the three digits 7 5 and 4 5 is at 100's place so we are left with 7 and 4 so first we can use 7 at 10's place and 4 at 100's place and in the next number the digit at 100's place remains the same that is 5 and we can reverse the left two digits that means 4 at 10's place and 7 at 100's place. So the number would be 574 and 547. The next is encircle the house number which has 400's and 2 1's that means you have to encircle the number which has 400's and 2 1's that means 4 at 100's place and 2 at 1's place so 4 at 100's place that is the numbers are 400 the numbers having 4 at 100's place are 426 462 okay but we have 2 at 1's place so it would be the number would be 462 because in 426 2 is at 10th place. So the number would be 462. Today we will stop here only. Thank you children.